Welcome to this week's episode of the Pullist Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at the top three comics that I am looking forward to reading on New Comic Book Day. And New Comic Book Day this week is going to be March 20th, 2024. There are a lot of comics coming out this week and my list has grown to about, I think, 15 comics this week. You can check out everything I'm planning on picking up in the description of the video below. But there are several Star Wars books coming out this week. There are some really nice uh, conclusions to some story arcs that are coming out this week. And let's just take a look at the three that I'm most looking forward to right now. Starting off at number three this week, I'm going with Army of Darkness Forever, issue number six. This is over at Dynamite Comics and written by Tony Fleeks, the writer who gave us Stray Dogs, and he has given us this unique sequel to the Army of Darkness story, I'll say movie, uh, that came out many years ago now and has become a cult classic and I really like how he's writing this. He's taking some different perspectives. We'll see how he wraps it up as it concludes in, I think, three more issues. But right now, I'm really liking what he's doing. And I have to also say the Matina covers that have been the cover A for these books have been crazy amazing artwork too. So uh, if you are an Army of Darkness fan, check out Army of Darkness Forever. And at number two this week, I'm going with Stranger Things, The Voyage, issue number four. This is the final issue of this mini-series, and it actually I've come to find out through reading it that it is actually giving us the backstory to how the Demogorgon made its way over to Russia. If you are a fan of the series, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you've never watched the series, go watch it. But really, in this, uh, fourth issue we're going to get the conclusion and it's I think at least a month late so it's running behind a bit so I've been waiting to see how they're gonna wrap up this series but the plot basically is there are uh, a bunch of folks on a boat and they're heading to Russia the captain doesn't want to know what's going on he's kind of doing a uh, under the table deal and what we're seeing is the scientists transporting one of these creatures from uh, the uh, Stranger Things series over to Russia and all the mishaps that happen along the way it is kind of a horror story taking pl place in the middle of the ocean kind of a fun story and twist from the normal Stranger Things plots in my opinion so I've liked it and looking forward to how it will conclude and my number one pick for this week is going to be Batman 89 Echoes issue number two that is right if you've been following with this series we're going to finally get issue two I believe issue one was released back in November so we're several months behind on this title. I don't know if they were just trying to scrape together the artwork story or if it just got delayed, not sure. But I have really liked this whole concept of Batman 89. It takes place in that Michael Keaton, uh, Batman, 1989 time era and in the last series we actually were given what was the sequel to be for that uh, Tim Burton arc that we never got and in this series I think it's another sequel and they're going to be introducing some unique characters I think Harlequin is one of them but overall this looks like a fun read if you are a fan of that 1989 Batman I know that was the big movie back when I was a kid so there's definitely some nostalgia going on but I also really liked what Tim Burton did and really like what we've gotten so far from the series so here we go Batman 89 we finally get that issue number two for the Echoes series. Thanks again for watching the Pullist Examiner. You can find all the comics I'm picking up in the description of the video below. Uh, if there is any comics you're reading you want to recommend, drop a comment below. But remember to read them, bag them, and board them, and we'll see you next time on the Pullist Examiner. Thanks for watching.